How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. And it is chili stout time in the form of uh, Rogue Sriracha Stout. Um, ugh. Rogue. I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't want to buy this beer. Uh, not that I didn't want to buy it, it's just that me, Rogue's price points are, like, ridiculous. They're just off kilter for what they typically produce. And a lot of their, like, I want to see, I don't want to see gimmicky beers, but stuff like that are definitely priced higher than they should be. And, you're, and um, I go to the store, and I like myself, I like sriracha. Um, I like spice, I like chili in my beers. I don't like stouts, but <sighs> I don't know what you guys out there are paying for beer, but for me, this bottle cost me $15. $15 for a seven fifty of... A 5.7% stout is a little bit butthole puckering for me. So I pledged to myself I would not buy it. And uh, lo and behold, I am weak. And I am pitiful. And I was walking out of my local Wegmans grocery store. And nothing else piqued my interest, so I grabbed it. So I got to review it. So there you go. Anyway, uh, as far as what it says in the bottle. Rogue Sriracha Hot Sauce Stout Beer. Natural ingredients, rogue rooster sauce, uh, ro rogue ales and spirits, Newport, Oregon, or Oregon, for you Oregon people. Uh, don't shake. I put sriracha in my rogue. Dedicated to the rooster. Rogue sriracha hot stout beer made from uh, Hugh Fong original hot chili sauce and sun ripened rogue farm ingredients is ready to drink with soup sauces, pasta, pizza, hot dogs, hamburgers, chow mein, or anything you'd like to wash down with a spicy kick. 55 IBU, 5.7% um, alcohol by volume. Other than that, government warning stuff and whatever. Label wise, it's cool. I mean, it's Sriracha. It's a Sriracha label just with rogue stuff written all over it. So, can't suck that bad. From the red bottle to the green cap to how it's laid out, it looks like Sriracha. And Sriracha's awesome. So, there you go. So, let's see. So weak. So weak inside where I cannot buy beer. <sighs> if it was if it was up there in ABV, uh, you know, the butthole could take it better, but I mean, 5.7% alcohol. I understand, well, hey, if it's beautiful beer at 5.7% alcohol, then kudos to them, but it's very difficult to pull that off, so we'll see what happens. Um, Headwise, almost three fingers worth of a nice what I like my coffee to look like, coffee colored head. Um, smaller to medium bubbles from bottom to top. And color wise, it was dark. Not the darkest beer I've ever seen in my life. You can clean a little bit of color around the edges. That's about it. So it looks like a stout. Looks like a stout. Let's see what she smells like. Get through that gigantic, gigantic head. Your sriracha. It's totally there. That's. I didn't expect it to be like that. It absolutely, 100%, without a doubt, smells like sriracha. It's, I mean, it's hard to fight through everything else because it's so prominent. But it's there. It's so there. Which, um, you know, awesome. Kudos to them, man. I mean, it's absolutely uh, there. It's that atypical sriracha smell. If you've never had it, what freaking rock and planet have you been living under? Um, but, yeah. Just that chili, that spicy... Asian chili. There's a sweetness there too. And it's not like the sriracha is like spicy, but it also has a sweetness to it. It's more like the beer sweetness, like a malt sweetness. Yeah, but that's the prominent note in the nose. I mean, huge sriracha to the point where it's like you cannot mistake what's going on in it. So, yeah. It smells kind of like a stout if you battle through the sriracha, which is there. A billion percent. So yeah, looks like a stout. Smells like sriracha. Let's see what she's got. Cheers. It's so weird. It's so weird. It tastes like sriracha. It tastes like there's... <sighs> I 
that's a weird beer. I'm going to tell you right now. That is absolutely bizarre. And I don't even know what to say. It tastes like a low ABV stout. Like almost like quarter-ish stout. Um, you know, low level ABV, nothing too big. Stout, and you literally just squirted some sriracha in there and stirred it up and drank it. It's exactly what it tastes like, at least to me. Um, is it a bad thing? No, because I mean, that's exactly what they're claiming for it to be. They want it to be a sriracha and a stout. They've accomplished that. It's got that weird sriracha burn. It's like light right back here, kind of lingering in the, the back, furthest part of my, probably not even palate, just back of my neck before everything goes down in my gullet. And it lingers there. It doesn't burn. It's got that tingly spaciness going on. Nice heat there. But it's not like overpowering. You know, it builds typical chili beer. It builds a little bit, but to the point of it not being uncomfortable. Uh, after you swallow it, after you finish. And every time you take a sip, just a little bit more, but it's not overbearing. Yeah. It was a weird beer. Absolutely weird. It's very uh, unique New York in its, um, in its beerness. But it is absolutely spot on. Um for what they wanted to accomplish. Kudos to them for doing that. I mean, it is a stout. And it is has sriracha in it. It says, I put sriracha in my rogue. They put sriracha in their rogue. Um, now, does it make that a good beer? Be, rating on uh, style, and that's such a weird thing to rate it on style. Rate it on what style? Stout? I mean, it's a chili beer? No, it's a sriracha. If you were to be like, I'm going to give you a... Excuse me. I'm going to give you a low ABV stout. And I'm going to put, I want it to taste like the sriracha in there. It's 100 out of 100. But I'm not rating on style, rating on whether it's a good beer or not. I'll give it an 83. That's what I would give it. Um, it's nice. Um, but it's not a great beer. You know what I mean? It's a nice beer. Uh, it doesn't blow me away. 83 overall. Um, it's something, it's unique. It's very kitschy. It's very. Um, what was the word they used when they originally started out gimmicky? You know what I mean? Um, it's There's chili beers. Um, there's spicy beers. And then there's... I put sriracha in the beers. So it's it's, it's a different... It's a different entity um, than a regular chili beer. So I wouldn't even classify it as chili beer. I'd classify it as a stat with sriracha in it. So I get 83 overall. Value and availability. Um, availability, you can get it anywhere I look. So I'll give it availability of a 9. And value, I would give it a 4. Because this beer should be $9 max. Um, and a lot of Rogue's offerings, whether it be their Voodoo, whatever, all those beers should be anywhere from 9 to $12. That's what they should peak at. In my area, your mileage may vary, but for me, they typically kick off right around $15, 15 to $17. And that is, in my eyes, a little bit of highway robbery. Definitely but whole pucker and... Um, for what they deliver, um, they're just not great beers. They're very gimmicky. It's like um, it's like that little gadget you buy, and you're like, oh, this thing's gonna be awesome. You never use it again. You're like, oh, that was fun. I just blew a bunch of money on something. Nah, whatever. Yeah, experience wise, it's cool to have it, but will I buy it again? Nah. There you go. That's my review. Uh, if you like what, should you buy this? Uh, if you like rogue beers, you should buy it. If you like. If you love sriracha and you just want sriracha in your life in every form or fashion, you should buy it because it absolutely tastes like sriracha. Um, I mean, if you like chili beers and you want something a little bit out of the norm, you should buy it. But my suggestion would be to split it with a friend because that $15, my area, $15 price tag is absolutely out of proportion. So there you go. Another review in the books. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did or didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you like, check us out anywhere else on the internet. You can. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Untapped. Massive beers in all four of those places. And um, yeah, 
another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully I'm enjoying a nice beer right now. And hope to see you next time. Cheers.